Just a quick reminder that these devos are recorded live every Wednesday at noon on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Orchard Christian Fellowship. So if you want to be involved in the chat, uh, then join us Wednesdays at noon. Now enjoy this devo. <laughs> Today, um, I was talking to one of our staff members about this. I said, man, this just feels like a feels like a heavy week, but a good week, because this Sunday we talked about suffering. And then um, uh, we, we've been helping out with the uh, youth ministry with Torch. And on Sunday night for Torch, we talked about shame. And today we're going to talk an, about an easily lighthearted topic of repentance. Let's just, let's just go in and go deep. So um, I'm going to give the definition of repentance and then kind of ask Jackson what he what he thinks of it. And if you want to um, uh, give your definition of repentance in uh, the comments so that we can hear it, this is what this is what the prophet Google says about repentance. Repentance is the activity of reviewing one's actions and feeling contrition or regret for past wrongs which is accompanied by commitment to and actual actions that show and prove a change for the better. So Jackson, when you think of repentance, what do you think of? Well, first of all, that seems like a lot. That definition That's, that, that was super was heavy, super, super long, super big, a lot of big words. <laughs> Contrite, like whatever, just yeah. big words. Um, Well, when I think of repentance, I mean, you obviously think of you do something wrong. You have to repent for it. You have to kind of, it's kind of like when you talk about it in Sunday school, it's like repentance. You ask for forgiveness from God. And so, um, I don't know. It's kind of like, like the Google definition said, feeling regret and wanting to kind of, um, get forgiven for the wrong Mm. Yeah, um, it was – this Devo kind of started from a phrase that we'll get to. I was uh, listening to another pastor, Matt Chandler. He was uh, preaching in a series on Revelation, and uh, he was going through the section where um, the author is recording God's letters to the seven churches that are in Asia. And one of the things that he mentions is this idea of – repentance. And when I was looking at uh, verses in scripture that talk about repentance, what we see is that it deals with sin. Um, In Acts, it says, repent therefore and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out. Um, In 2 Peter, it says, the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, uh, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. So there's a link between sin and a link between death. We have Jesus when he comes on the scene, when he starts his ministry, one of the things that he would say is repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then as we get to Peter, right, as he leaves and he has the resurrection, and even in our series, we're talking about the power of God. There is power in repentance. In Acts 2, Peter said to the crowd, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So repentance actually brings entrance into the Spirit of God, into the power of God. Um, but if but if we're talking personally, I have realized that repentance always stemmed on the idea of right and wrong. I know that it's a command from God. Jesus says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Um, uh, if you go in the Old Testament and you see that David was a man after God's own heart, that's what it says, right? Well, what exactly does it mean by that? Because David was an adulterer and a murderer, <laughs> like, and a liar. You know, he was he was a sinful man. So how could he be a man after God's own heart? Well, one of the cases that I heard about that was that he was a repentant man. Um, and I get really hung up on repentance about, am I doing the right thing or kind of conforming to what God would have me do? But this is the statement that I heard that I want us to talk about, Jackson. Uh, Matt Chandler said, repentance is an invitation 
back into intimacy and relationship with God and the family of God. Repentance is an invitation. So that's what I want us to kind of talk about for a bit for this um, devotion. What do you what do you think he means when he says that repentance is an invitation? Well, I think it's I think that means like like an invitation back into the like not back into the relationship, but back into like I don't know exactly how to describe it, but I think it's just it's more relationship focused. So mm. rather than it being about what you did, it's about how you can uh, get back to the relationship that you had before yeah. uh, before your wrongdoing or whatever separated you from God. Absolutely. Yeah, like it makes it less about actions and more about the relationship, which in a way, which which makes a lot of sense because when we when we look at sin in terms of the right and wrong actions, we lose the full sight of what it really is. It is separation from God. It's out of a right relationship with God. And so what repentance is, if repentance is the act of turning, confession, and receiving the grace from God and turning from your sin, then logically it is an invitation back into the presence of God. And I guess what hit me this week that I wanted to share with everybody was we, we do this like in any, in any relationship that we have with our friends, our family, our loved ones, when we have a wrong in the relationship, there is some form of repentance, right? When you when you reconcile that relationship for us, both parties do this, but there's this idea of turning and choosing the relationship over the sin because you have a choice to make there. You can either choose to continue in it or you can choose to repent and to turn. And it kind of, in a sense, I hesitate to say this because I don't want um, I don't want to give off the wrong vibe here, but in a sense, it lost the, um, it made it feel a little less weighty because when I think of repentance, sometimes I think of like, I don't want to go to hell, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to repent because I don't want to go to hell. But in reality, I wonder if our mindset is changing to, I am repenting because I want to be with Jesus. Like I am, I am repenting when I sin against my wife because I want to be with my wife. I'm repenting when I sin against you because I want to be with you because it's about the relationship. And, and that is, that is the focus Do the things that we do have play into that. Absolutely. Because it's because of things that we done. Right. But sin is an identification of things that are in the heart. We sin against God because our heart went against God. So it would only make sense that repentance would cause us to turn towards the heart as well. And so I guess for this week, for our, for our, for our Devo, as you think about the idea of repentance, this is an everyday thing that we do. We live in repentance scholars centuries old make that uh, uh make that distinction the life of the christian is a life in repentance and so the more i think about it the more that i realize for us um and i'd love to hear your thoughts on this too jackson for us it's kind of like when you're driving a car and you're constantly correcting and you're constantly adjusting or even when you're in a relationship with somebody, I remember <laughs> this is random and I wasn't thinking of sharing this. I remember when I was um, writing my vows to Megan the day that we got married, I didn't really know what I was going to say. And when I wrote them down, I ended up telling her, um, I cannot vow to you that I will be the best husband, that I'll be the best father that i will get everything right i can't value like i can't i can't vow to you that um uh, i can't vow that i won't hurt you but i can make a vow to you that i'll apologize i can make a vow that i will choose you over anything else and as i look back i realize dang that was actually telling my wife that i'm gonna live choosing the relationship over over anything else and I think that's what God's inviting us to do when he's doing repentance, you know? Yeah, I think, I mean, one of the, one of the things that really hit me 
It's like, it's not about the negative experience. It's about the positive relationship. So like you said with the car correcting, when you say when you mess up, like you swerve or whatever in the car, you don't focus on that. You focus on staying, you know, on the road in the future. You don't just look back at that and, mm. you know, give yourself grief over it the whole time. And it's not, it's, it's not about, you know, it's not about the past. It's about how you can bring it into the future. And, you know, I just think that's important to, important to remember that repentance isn't about what you don't want. It's about what you do want. Because mm. like you said about saying, I don't want to go to hell versus I want to be with Jesus. I think mm. that it's, it's about what you want for your future and not about what's going to happen if, you know, if you don't repent. Yeah, that's, that's really, that's really profound. The idea of it's not about what you don't want, it's what you do want, or it's not about the negative, it's about the positive. And what really struck me with, with what you said is that's how God feels about us. It's not about what God doesn't want us to do. It's about what he wants. He wants us. That's why repentance is there. That's why he invites it. Because not because God's like, hey, can you just stop screwing up? But he's actually saying, I want to be with you. This this is my heart. This is my desire. Oh, man, this is actually such a better conversation than I thought we'd have. I think it's, it's, I think it's because we're not sitting next to each other. We're sitting like, so we're looking directly at each other. I feel like that's really enhancing the conversation here. All right, guys, you heard it. We're going to have to Zoom every time. <laughs> we're just going to go to different places. <laughs> Oh gosh. Well, hey man, um, let me let me pray for us and then we'll close up our Devo. Um, thank you guys so much for for being a part of our uh, a part of our time. Uh, and as we pray, Jackson, we're gonna we're gonna pray for you too. Pray for you, uh, you and Mary up there in Utah, um, looking for the next step in your lives. So we're gonna pray for you as well. All right, let's pray. <sighs> Heavenly Father. I just want to take a moment to thank you for the truth and the fact that your thoughts are for us and that even, even when you command us, even when you ask us to repent, to turn from worshiping ourselves or to turn from our sin, that it's, it's, it's soaked with love and a desire to be with us. So father, this week, as each of us mess up, as each of us sin against you or against anyone in our lives, may we choose repentance. By the power of your spirit, may we continuously be led to choose the relationship. And God, we lift up Jackson and Mary as they are in Utah. Keep them there safely um, as they as they uh, walk in faith regarding what you would have for them and then on their trip back and we lift up each and every person listening to this devo wherever they are may they sense your presence with them now and forever it's in jesus name we pray amen amen